In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Rode Shotgun Microphone with the Rycote Lyra Suspension Mount. And as you can see, I also did a couple of modifications to the microphone. I made it a little bit taller and I also uh, modified the power source so I can run a couple of 18650 cells that I salvage from an old laptop battery. So let's first take a look at the microphone itself and let's ignore this part here and this part here where I modified the microphone I'm gonna explain in detail how I did this but uh, for now let's take a look at the microphone uh, we got a suspension mount here so that it can absorb some shocks when you're moving around we got the three and a half millimeter jack here and the length of this cable is about six inches and you can stretch it up to about I would say 12 inches the microphone physical dimension is about 10 inches long and about say two and a half inches tall now on the top here we got the battery compartment and inside you got the space for a 9 volt battery so inside you can see I saw the couple of wires going to the outside to my battery pack here um, but originally the 9 volt battery should come in here like so it will fit in there and then you can close this cover okay inside the battery compartment you can see the adjustment for the gain but it's really small in there and you need to use a precision screwdriver in order to move the adjustment it all the way in there and it's really small and i find this really uh, annoying uh, it's pretty hard to move the adjustment and then once I have this on I don't really want to uh, remove it anymore so I don't really use this part anymore on the bottom here we got the mount so that you can mount on the hot shoe of your camera it's not tall like this it's originally this part here originally all the way down here and this is the part I added in fact let me just remove it so I can show you what it looks like originally so here's the mount on the bottom originally it was like so all the way down here like this and then you mount the screw on there okay and there are three position so you can mount whether you want to the microphone to be forward a little bit or backward a little bit so first let's talk about the mount on this microphone this for me is the biggest problem for this microphone the camera that I use for all my YouTube video is this camera it's a Sony AX53 4k camera and um, I don't use a DSLR to record video for obvious reason it's not a video camera but anyway um, if you use this for the SLR like this one here and let me mount on this mount here okay the distance from the microphone to the lens is far away and also the tip of the microphone does not extend out too much it's only about I would say two to three inches out and let me mount this onto my video camera and show you a significant difference. Now you can see that the mount from here to the lens is real close. Okay. This camera has a gap between this part here on the top down to the lens. Right? I would say about at least one and a half inches. This one here is right on the top of the lens. See that? It's almost level with the top of the lens, so it's real close. Also, the tip of the microphone extends out about, what say, five inches, a good five inches out. So, why is that important? You can see that there's a, the tip of the microphone showing up on the video right there. See the black spot right there? It's showing on the video and if I move 
the camera around you can see it it comes down quite a bit more see that black spot that's not acceptable see because it extends too much out and it's too low down so it shows up on the video so that's why in order for the tip of the microphone not to show up on my video I have to brace this part here a little bit higher so that this tip here doesn't show up in my lens so another problem with this mount is that my on my camcorder the zoom is all the way in there right that's the zoom right there and in order for me to use the zoom I have to push on my finger all the way in there because right now it's really tight this part here is blocking the way it's on the way so I can't even push my finger in there so I can use my zoom so let me show you what I did to extend this part here a little bit taller I use a piece of plastic uh, drywall screw mount this is just like this but uh, it's cylindrical and it's thicker and I just cut it to I think this is about two centimeter long and I use a longer screw too because now you need a longer screw to mount on here the original screw is about that long it's quite short and that is a screw that I use it's a lot longer and it's about three centimeter long this screw is a quite special screw it's a 440 size 440 but the thread is finer anyway so this screw has a lock washer I put in a lock washer it's very important because uh, it will stop the uh, microphone from uh, spinning around like this and I put in another washer okay and they will go on the mount like so okay and then we got my plastic spacer that goes on here it fits perfectly on here like that so next I've got two more lock washers and it's go, gonna go on here like so and again this will help prevent the microphone from spinning around too much then it's gonna go on to the front screw hole okay it's best to mount on this screw hole on the front here as front as possible to pre prevent the tip of the microphone from showing up on the camera okay. and then just gonna screw it down so here is what it looks like installed on my camcorder and there's a lot of clearance right now so um, I can easily put my finger here so I can use the zoom feature plenty of room and because the distance from here to the lens is a lot more now so this is not going to show up on my screen anymore no longer showing up on my screen so next let me show you how I modify this battery pack so originally the battery was 9 volt battery and I just solder my wire to the terminal and I run the wire outside and then I put double sided tape on my 18650 holder right here and then I just tap it on stick it on the top here there's this part here that is flat just enough to tap on on the left side here this part here is round so I can put it on this part right here so it's kind of lopsided a little bit toward the left side but uh, when I mount on the camera it's, uh, it's just fine no problem the 18650 holders they come in pack of four that's how I bought them 
so I cut it in half because I only need two. It runs on 9 volt battery and each of these is 4.2 volts. Two of these will be 8.4 volt and it's close enough and it has enough voltage to run the microphone. And I just soldered them together in series. So I connect these two terminals together and I put the batteries in series to produce 8.4 volts. When I first used the 9 volt battery for the microphone, um, I used it for like a few hours, maybe a couple hours. And then uh, this switch here is a physical switch. Okay, you turn it on like that, and when you turn it off, you turn it off. It doesn't turn off automatically, it doesn't have a battery saving feature, and it does not automatically turn off when it's idle. So you have to physically turn it off, otherwise, it will be on forever. So when I first used this, I only used it for a couple hours, and then I left it on overnight. I totally forgot. Next morning, I came back and uh, the battery is out of juice. So this battery doesn't last long at all on this microphone, and this thing is not cheap. And it's not very sustainable. So that's why I just went ahead and used these. And these are salvaged from old laptop computers. So they didn't cost me anything. And the best thing is they are rechargeable. So if I run out of battery and just remove it and put another one in. And because I have unlimited supplies of this, almost unlimited, and they are also rechargeable, so I can basically run this microphone for an unlimited amount of time, and doesn't even cost me a penny. Not like this one here. So how long does it last on these two 18650 cells? Well, I've been using it for, I would say, five hours. So recording time, has been five hours since last time I fully charged these two cells. And let's check on the voltage of this cell right now. 4.04 volts. About four volts. So that's about 80%. Five hours and I still have 80%. So these two are gonna last a long time. So now it's time to test on the quality of this microphone you're looking at the mirror that reflects the image back to the camera I want to use a mirror so you can see the microphone in the video and I have not plugged in the uh, microphone yet the sound you've been hearing since the beginning of this video until now mostly came from this camcorder internal uh, microphone up here it's right here I some of the video clips I used came from this Panasonic GX85 but most of the video clips and the sound came from the internal microphone of this camcorder up here. So right now I'm gonna plug it in and hopefully you can hear the difference right now. So now that it's plugged in hopefully it sounds quite a bit different right now. So I'm going to talk about this switch right here. That's the switch. And this switch got two levels. Um, the first level is a normal setting. The second level is called the high pass filter setting. And they explain it as a low frequency setting, which you can use to remove rumble camera noise or other low frequency noise while recording. I've tried this and it made no difference for me. Probably there's no low frequency noise around here so I didn't I didn't realize any difference at all between the two settings. So I was about two feet away from the road microphone. Now I'm gonna move back a little bit about five feet away so hopefully you can hear the difference. I'm going to read the same line here, okay, I'm going to back up, so right now I'm about 
five feet away and I'm going to read this line again okay the high pass filter is a low frequency cutoff setting which you can use to remove rumble camera noise or other low frequency noise while recording so there you have it the sound quality on this microphone is a lot better than my camcorder internal microphone it does have a few problems especially with the mount on the bottom here but that was an easy fix and it only took me about an hour for everything including the mod on my battery and that's all for now thanks for watching and i'll see you next time